Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create a simple product in Magento 2 with custom options. So adding customizable options to a product is an easy way to offer a selection of options with a variety of text, selection and date input types. Customizable options are a good solution if your inventory needs are simple. However, because they are based on variations of a single SKU, they cannot be used to manage stock or as the basis of price rule conditions. If you have multiple products with the same options, you can set up one product and import the options to the other products as well. So a simple product can have custom options with a variety of input controls, which makes it possible to sell many product variations from a single SKU there. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create a simple product with customizable options in the admin backend panel. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So to create a simple product with customizable option, what we'll do is we'll log into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and then tapping on the sign in button thereafter. After we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel of Magento 2, we have to navigate to catalog products. And this would bring up the complete list of products that you already added within your Magento 2 uh, web store. So here you can see that we have a test product. The same product is visible here under the watches category. So if we go to the watches category, here's the test product. So I'll be adding this simple product with customizable options under the, under the watches category itself. So to add the simple product with customizable option, what I need to do is I need to tap here on the add product button and choose simple product. And that would bring up the new product page as you can see on your screens right now. So first of all, what I'll do is uh, we'll be giving the product name. So I'll set it as simple product with custom options. I'll set the price of the product or the base price of the product. Then we'll be choosing the quantity of the uh, particular product. Stock status would be in stock. We'll set the weight of the product. If we are not setting the weight of the product, then it would be a virtual product. So uh, we have to set the weight of the product. We'll select the category wherein we want to have this particular uh, product uh, there. Then coming down, we can set up the content of the uh, particular product as well or the short description for the product. Uh, then we can choose the images and videos. Let's uh, choose an image for this particular uh, simple product with customizable options. So these are the steps to create a particular simple product with customizable options. So as you would do normally in a, uh, no, in a normal product or a simple product, similarly you have to set up the details for the same. That includes the product name, SKU, price, quantity, stock status has to be set, weight has to be set, the category has to be assigned. If there are any images, those images for the particular product have to be added. You can go with the search uh, engine optimization as well. S uh, let's set it as simple product custom options. As the URL key, you can set up the other rest of the options as well, but there's no requirement for that. Then we have this customizable option section as you can see. If there are already, if you have already created a product with customizable options, then you can import the customizable options by tapping here on the import options button. And those options would be listed here and would be there for selection uh, for your new product that you're going to create. Otherwise, what you can do is to add the options, you can directly tap here on the add option button. And that will bring up this particular section for adding the new option. Now the option type can be of text, file, select and date types. Under the text you can have it as a field or an area. You can have a file uh, uh, type of an option type uh, on the simple product there uh, as a customizable option there. Or you can have a selection option like drop down, radio button, checkbox, multi select or you can have the date, date and time and time on the simple product page there itself uh, just below the price uh, listing where we can see the price of the product just below that these options would uh, appear. 
now let's go with the radio buttons let's choose it as radio buttons and let's set the new option name as choose color after setting up the option title this would be the option title that would be visible to the customers choose color the option type is of radio buttons let's add the values so let's set it as red let's set the price for the red product uh, then let's set it as green let's set the price of green color then blue let's set the price for the blue color now this price would be uh, added to the base price and that would be the price of the red color same goes with the green and the blue one you can have the price type as fixed to percentage as per your own requirement there and you can also set a SKU for each of the products there but the actual SKU would be the main SKU of the uh, product itself that's the simple product with custom options so after you have added the uh, the uh, what we say as the uh, uh, customizable option here as choose color which is of the radio button type and the choose color options are red green and blue you can tap here on the save button to save the particular simple product with customizable options now after the product has been saved we can go to the front end and we can refresh this particular page to view the particular simple product with custom options so let me refresh the page so here is the product with the simple product with custom options that is having the base price as $123 now if I open this customizable uh, uh, simple product with custom options basically or customizable options there you can see that we have the base price as $123 and we have the uh, what we say as the uh, customizable uh, option that we had created here as choose color in the admin backend the same is visible here choose color uh, we had set it as required so that's why we have an asterisk red color asterisk mark here and we have red is for $123 more green is for $124 more blue is for $125 more on the base price there so if I choose red it would be 246 247 and 248 now the customer can select any of the options there and can add it to the cart and can make a checkout thereafter. Now the options can also be of for example drop down type. So if I choose it as drop down here and save it for the same. And then if I go to the front end and I refresh this particular page here. You can see that we have choose color and we have a drop down for red green and blue color there itself so right now we had the customizable options as uh, the option input type as uh, drop down so if I go to the customizable options here we have the option type as drop down we can also set it as checkbox or multi select if I choose it as checkbox and I save this up the same would be reflected at the product page or for the simple product with custom options there now if I refresh this page we'll have the options with the checkboxes so here you can see that we have the checkbox options uh, for the product there and similarly uh, if I come down to the uh, customizable options here we can choose it as multi select as well or we can set it to date and time date and time uh, or only time there or we can have it as a file as well so if we are choosing it as a file then we have to set the price the fixed type the SKU the compatible file extensions uh, separated by commas can be added here the files that can be uploaded by the customers and the maximum image size in pixels and you'll have to leave this blank if it's not an image file then the customers would see a file option here at the front end so for example if I set it as 123 uh, the file extensions as PNG JPG or P, let's set it as uh, for example file extensions as PDF and let's tap here on the save button then uh, we'll have the option title as choose color let's uh, refresh this page and let's see if it appears at the front end so here you can see that we had set it as the customizable option as color choose color we can set it as per your own requirement as well upload file 
background here if you want to give the price then you can give the price as well that price will be usable on the right hand side let's remove the price let's say it is a PDF and let's save it up now let the product save itself then we'll just go to the front end the product has been saved let's uh, go to the front end and let's refresh the uh, page here So this is what we are looking at is the simple product with the custom option or customizable option. So here you can see that the label has been changed to upload file from here. It's a required field and here we have the choose file option. Compatible file extensions to upload is PDF. If you remember here we had only given it as uh, the what we say as PDF. So that's why it's showing here compatible file extensions to upload is PDF. Here we have a choose file option and here we have upload file from here so this is how you can provide customers uh, with uh, what we say as the customizable options for the simple products with a variety of input controls which makes it possible to sell many product variations from a single SKU so basically adding customizable options to a product is an easy way to offer a selection of options with a variety of text selection and date input types customizable options are a good solution if you are uh, inventory needs are simple however because they are based on variations of a single SKU they cannot be used to manage stock or as the basis for the price rule conditions if you have multiple products with same options you can set up one product and import the options to the other products as well so for example we have uh, let's uh, set it as uh, let me show you the import option there for example choose color here we will set select it as drop down let's save it up let the product save itself then we'll just refresh it on the front end there now let me refresh it on the front end and let's see the drop down appearing here for the three different colors there red green blue now for example we have created the uh, custom options there now if we are going to create another simple product and we want to import or and we want to import the customizable options that we've already created so how we can do that so for that if i go and choose simple product here under the add product and then if i scroll down here to the customizable options and tap here on the import options we can see the particular options that we had created are visible here and we can import them up and you can see that those options have been imported for this new product that we are going to create that's a simple product with custom options and now we can give the name of the product the SKU we can set the pr uh, price the quantity the stock status weight category can be set, set up the visibility can be set to catalog and search there and then we, we can save this particular simple product with customizable options so yes that was much about uh, how uh, to create a simple product in Magento 2 with custom options and I hope that this particular video help you out in uh, understanding the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.